Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love making costumes and creating and Halloween as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank. Maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we will be recreating Minnie Mouse, everyone's favorite female mouse. <laughs> from Disney. With all the holidays pretty much gone for the year, we are officially in Halloween season. I mean, Thanksgiving, done. Christmas, over. Valentine's Day came and went. St. Patty's Day and Easter, it's all gone. So it's time to start picking out what you want to be for Halloween. Let's get started. I realize this might look like a pile of rubbish right now, but as you can tell, we're doing Minnie Mouse and I lucked out because I wasn't actually looking for stuff for this costume quite yet but I went to Goodwill recently and they did have this shirt it's small it's not gonna fit me I'm using it for material they had this top and they happened to have this skirt there and it was $9 for the skirt, uh, $7 for the top. The, the top is going to serve as my sleeves for the costume. I'm gonna use the material and also the bow for my hair. And this shirt was half off, originally $7, but it was on sale today and I'm gonna use this for the top. M making when it all comes together, it will look like a dress. And then for buttons, I'm going to use these styrofoam balls. I'm going to cut them in half, dip them in glitter, and hot glue probably three of them to the front of the shirt. And then I have some extra white material I'm going to use to make a collar for the shirt. And I've got the Minnie Mouse gloves and red shoes. I do realize that she wears yellow shoes a lot, but I've also seen her in red. It's most of the time, it's solid colors. So it's solid red, it's solid yellow, or it's solid pink uh, for the shoes. So I happen to have red ones. I'm gonna use those because I already had them. And uh, that's it. I've got a slip here that I already had. I've got some felt. I'll be making my own ears. Let's get started.
totally lucked out with this. Got pretty much everything from the thrift store. So the only things that I purchased for this costume was a skirt, a shirt, which we repurposed. And so I bought this shirt and that long sleeve shirt and the skirt. So I spent less than $20 creating this costume. I used pieces of the shirt, the original polka dot shirt to make the bow for the headpiece. This is a wig I already had and cut it to shape it. Shoes that I already had and I used pieces of the shirt to create these bows. And this is the black full length bodysuit with hands and feet in it that I used for the butterfly costume. So I already technically had that. I already had these hands from last year when I did the California Raisin and I already had this crinoline, which I actually call a square dancing slip, <laughs> but I had this from when I did Bjork or Jerk swan dress. So there are videos for all of those costumes on the channel. Let's get started with our makeup. It's makeup time. I have never done Minnie Mouse before. And actually this one was kind of perplexing to me because I was on the fence about whether or not I was going to use Crayola Model Magic for this one. And I decided against it. I found a couple of different ideas online that looked really good that I wanted to try. Now, again, I don't watch other people's videos or anything like that, but I will go on and kind of look at other people's costumes from the past and check out Google Images and see if there's any new ideas out there. Especially for you guys. If you're not like looking online at other people's costumes, people have done the same thing. Sometimes you can get cool ideas for like couples costumes and things like that. So I went online because I wanted to see kind of how people did their makeup for Minnie Mouse. And there was literally only like two or three that I thought were really good. I'll picture them here. And then the rest are just kind of cutesy, kind of like a pretty mouse. You know, hair is down and it's just a nose and some whiskers and lipstick and some eyeshadow and stuff like that. I want it to be more realistic looking, so I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do, which is drawing a large eye over my eye to make it appear that I have big cartoon eyes that you can really see when the eye is closed. So I don't normally do that, but I saw it on a couple of different people and I thought, you know what? I haven't done this, let's go ahead and give it a try. So that's how I'm gonna do my makeup today. And for that, I have Ben Nye Aqua Paint in Black Licorice. I have a Mehran. Their version of the Aqua Ben Nye uh, is called Paradise and it's in white. I have a red and white pencil, a black pencil, and a black liquid liner. And uh, that's really about it, all I'm gonna need, I think. Uh, I'm gonna do some pinky blush from my usual Ulta palette here. It's got a good pink blush in it, and uh, I've already applied a flesh tone foundation because Minnie Mouse is flesh tone. She's not white or anything. Now, the older versions, if you wanna do the classic Minnie Mouse in black and white, you can. But then in that case, instead of using a flesh tone foundation, obviously you're gonna use a white foundation. But the vintage sort of looking uh, black and white Minnie Mouse is very cool looking too. I don't know if you guys have ever seen <laughs> like the first theme park protocols for the mice. They're pretty frightening. <laughs> like if you were a kid and you looked up and saw that coming at you, I don't know if that would go over well. So it's kind of a good thing they got a bit of a makeover <laughs> before, you know, going ahead and scaring all the kids out of the park. What I did, I went online and there was this little girl's makeup that was done so well, it looked so good. So I'm gonna kind of design my makeup after that. I'm not really sure if there was a video that went along with it or it was just like an Etsy thing, but it just showed her before and after. I went ahead and kind of sketched that out so that I would know what to do with my own face. And we're gonna do it like that. I also made stencils for my sideburns that are gonna kind of come out and frame my face, giving me that sort of heart outline 
that she has on her face. This is what you're gonna wanna use to glue your eyebrows down. I went ahead and did it. You're gonna go in an upward motion. You're gonna let it dry a little bit and then when it's just a little bit tacky, you're gonna press some powder into it and then if you want to, you can do it again and then press the powder in again. And that's it. You wanna go in an upwards motion so that way it flattens out your eyebrows and they kinda disappear and then you look kinda weird. But that information was compliments of my girl Maddie out there. Hopefully she's watching. Maddie, I'm getting started with these costumes for the year now. We're getting the ball rolling. One a week. I don't know. I hope she's doing okay because I haven't heard from her in a little while. I'm going to start with my eyes. Remember, we're going with this look. So we're going over our own eyes. If you mess up a little bit, like I kind of just did, it's okay. Just get one of your handy dandy Q-tips. Okay, that looks pretty good. And what we do to one eye, of course, we must do to the other. There they are. Don't be alarmed. You're just gonna try and get them as even as you can. I don't think mine are perfectly even either. You know, the round part of the eye I'm gonna do going like this, kind of looking to the side, I think, just like this picture here. So next thing, go ahead and finish drawing out the face. I think I'm going to be connecting the eyes too with the bridge of the nose. So we're gonna create kind of a bridge here. It's kind of difficult to get that straight because it is kind of a curved part of the face, but try to avoid stretching it because then it's gonna be wonky. Uh, any part that doesn't turn out quite straight, you can just fix it with your Q-tip. I'm just dipping mine in water, but if you have uh, micellar water or makeup remover, that's even good too. It's probably even better. I have micellar water. It's just not in here right now. The water works fine. We're gonna go right, right across, just right across the bridge of our nose. I know it looks kind of funny right now, but it looked really good on the little girl, so. I'm trusting the process here. <laughs> We're doing this together. Now I have done the bridge of the nose here and we're just gonna pull this line down, meeting up with that line. This uh, crayon is not very working very well for me. It's a big old eye, <laughs> but that's what we want. So we're connecting to that line on both sides. Do not worry about the thick part of this line, how it got so thick there. That's where the eye is gonna go, the black part. So we're gonna go straight down. I know it doesn't look like much yet, but now I'm gonna start filling in with my white a little bit up here. So I can kind of get an idea of where I want my people to go. My pupil. My eyeball. Now she's kind of coming together. Let's go on down to the nose and then we'll come back up and fill in the eyes. For the nose, you're just going to be going, blacking out the whole tip, inside the nostril, almost in a circle that goes all the way around even your nostrils. It's more of an oval than it is a circle, really. So we've gone all the way around the tip of our nose and our nostrils and underneath and inside our nostrils. And I'm just going to put a little bit of white here on the tip to create like a shine, kind of. A little shiny mouse nose. Cute. We've got to do our mouth. And what I saw was on each side, and then of course the little. Smile mark. Just like that, and then we're going to go down like this. I'm not in love with this marker here, it's just not giving me, it is not performing well for me today. 
So always have a backup. <laughs> I did find my, I get, I got my micellar water out because this pencil just hasn't been working great for me today. I've been having to do a lot of touching up. And I thought it was a Ben Nye, but it's actually a L'Oreal pencil. It works well for other things. It just, it's not working well for these finer lines that I need to do today. And I have regular pencils. I have backups here, but they don't, they're not working great either. So it's just, it's just not a good day for pencils for me. That's how you're going to want it. Isn't that looking good? We're going to take concealer to our upper lip. And all the action is going to be happening down here on our bottom lip. So I'm just going to kind of go over some of these lines that could be a little bit more pronounced. I really just need a new black pencil. Ben Nye pencil. Hey Ben Nye, if you're out there, look, I'm promoting you guys. I need a new pencil, okay? It's going to be the fat black one, all right? Thanks, that's great. It's like, what, $15? You think you can send me one of those? I mean, that's the least you can do. You can kind of see the shape of Minnie Mouse coming together. Let's just do these eyes and see what happens. I'm gonna use my fat black pencil for this because it should be okay for this because we're just filling in. Like I said, this is a L'Oreal pencil. Usually I use Ben Nye. And I don't have problems with my Ben Nye, but it goes fast. So I should buy a couple at a time. I'm also getting older, so that makes doing stuff like this a little more challenging. There's a, my skin is not as supple as it once was, you know what I mean? Nice and tight to work with. So when I'm doing things like this, where I'm drawing over my, my own skin in areas like the eyes, where the skin is generally looser anyway, it's not, not fun. <laughs> it's not awesome. It's kind of, is not as easy as it probably once would have been. I have taken my liquid liner. With this now, you gotta be careful. Because if it ain't dry, it'll get everywhere. But what's great about this, it's waterproof. It doesn't budge once it is dry. You can't sweat it off or anything like that. So it's coming together, right? So I see somewhere where it needs to be fixed a little. We're just gonna go ahead and fill that in. That's it, all I did was just fill in the black outline basically that I already had or the part that needed to be filled in and there it is. When I close my eyes, <laughs> I decided to spirit gum some false lashes onto my head. I think this is what the little girl had. And then I was like, ugh. But it actually looks pretty good and it wasn't that hard to do. So thank goodness. <laughs> Usually these give me a hard time, but I'm just going with it. I ain't mad at it. I just wasn't digging the like I said, none of my pencils today are working. I don't know, it's just been a weird day for my pencils, all of them. Like, but I got this far. I ain't backing down now. All right, we got a little bit left to do, and I'm going to keep using my liquid liner because it's working best. So down here, we're gonna start filling in our tongue. And then above it is gonna be black. There's that. Now we're filling in with our red. This is a Ben Nye pencil. Works amazing. I wish I had had my black Ben Nye pencil. Here's our little red tongue. Imagine with the wig on, this is gonna look fantastic. So I'm really glad I did it this way, even though it was a little bit, <laughs> today was kind of challenging to say the least. I'm gonna go ahead and, and line my waterline. I am gonna put some uh, mascara on as well. And I gotta do my little sideburns. That's gonna really be cute. 
I made a stencil with one of my note cards for the sideburns so that they're both even on each side. I'm just going to dampen my sponge and with the Ben Nye licorice black, I'm going right in here. You want to hold it as tight to your face as possible. And then we're going to do the other side. Make sure we're kind of lined up. This one's a little higher, so I'm going to try and oh, let's make this one a little lower. Didn't turn out as good as I would have liked. Well, I have a quick solution. Yeah, that's the makeup. What a wild ride it's been. I'm gonna put a little blush on, just a pink blush. Now let's go get our costume on. I almost forgot one little detail here. I wanted to outline the bottom of my face. This is gonna make all the difference. But it's kind of a good thing that I have this on to like tell where, cause it's a turtleneck. So tell where I need, to, how far I need to go down. So I'm gonna use my black licorice, my Ben Nye Aqua and fill that in, in black. And it will make all the difference. Now, let's put on the rest of our costume. All dressed up and ready for photos. for joining me again today. I hope you love today's look. I think it turned out great. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> but like I always say, you know, you get started and you, and you mess up a little bit and you've never done it before maybe or whatever the case may be. But I guarantee you, if you just try, it will always turn out great. This is an awesome costume. You've got a million couples costume ideas out there, even for our group that can go with you. You've got Mickey and Minnie, you've got Donald Duck and Daisy Duck, Goofy, who else? Pluto, all kinds of options for a family or group costume. That does it for today's episode. If you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and join me every Wednesday for a new costume. I'll see you next time.